policies that Europe and the United States have followed in terms of sanctions. I was actually disappointed after the uh, Kerch Strait incident you know, mm -hmm. last winter that there wasn't a stronger joint uh, you know, condemnation of it and not more pressure put on uh, Russia to lift the blockade and, and, and so forth. Um, so the question is, can Europe and America sustain you know, that kind of pressure? In the case of the United States, we have a very unprecedented policy towards Russia where the US Congress and the American bureaucracy, you know, the State Department, the Defense Department, all are very hostile to Russia. And they've actually imposed sanctions at a level that Obama was not willing to go to. They've provided military assistance to Ukraine. Uh, there's only one person who doesn't like this policy, and he happens to be the President of the United States. And, and so it's just this weird situation where the President is completely at odds with his own bureaucracy and doesn't seem to be able to get his way in terms of, you know, expressing his preferences. But I do think that there's a real danger in that because, um, you know, for example, I mean, Russia could decide to invade Ukraine, you know, the rest of Ukraine. Uh, and actually, if I were Putin and I were inclined to do this, this might be a good time to do it when, you know, you have a president whose willingness to back Ukraine militarily, you know, is questionable. Um, so I think there are dangers in the current situation. So again, it's just like with the EU and the populace. I think that the tax now is just to hold on to the existing policy and not see it dissolve. In the EU, it's a big problem, right? Because if, the, if Italy and Hungary and these other populists do well in the European election, most of them actually want a much more friendly policy towards Russia, and that might start to lead to more pressure to, you know, to lift sanctions. Uh, so I think, you know, I think the best we can hope for is, is actually just to keep, keep existing pressure on.